Welcome to the journey of love and light. Gemini, this is your 2023 money and career reading. And I'm going to um, do it by each quarter, first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, and fourth quarter. I originally have pulled, you know, a card for every month of the year. But what happens is, you know, sometimes they bleed over, sometimes they uh, blend together. But we'll just get a good story here for 2023 um, with these cards we have out on the table. If this reading um, resonates with you, if you like the reading, please make sure and smash that like button and subscribe to the channel so that you can um, see other readings in the future. And we're going to get started with this first card out for the month of January, starting the new year off, is the Eight of Flowers. Actually, this is the Ten of Flowers. So this is the Ten of Wands. And the Ten of Wands tells me that... Um, you know, you in you you're tired. Like you're you were tired. You ended off the year probably very busy, uh, Gemini. Like you had a lot uh, going on. You know, a lot of um, you know uh, stuff on your shoulder, taking on responsibilities that maybe even some of more even your own. But yeah, you know, I, I feel like that you finally are in January. You're putting down that weight. Like you're um, you know letting other people carry their own burdens. You're um, you know beginning to find balance in your own um, life situation and things are um, going to start blossoming in a new way in a better way um, you know as you come into the, the new year um, so this um, you know could involve like you know maybe if you're in a marriage or in some sort of a relationship but again this is a career and money reading so remember we're going to try to stick to that so this could be you know it, with a career and money reading this could be some sort of a partnership this could be a boss or this could be a choice that you may have a choice that you need to make uh, about you know how you ultimately put down uh, all of this burden that you have been carrying because um, the um, uh, 26 card here hostilities tells me you know that you're feeling a little bit defensive about your money situation like maybe maybe because you had um you know overspent at christmas or you feel like that you know, maybe the choices that you made you know you're not sure if you made the right choice so it's you know kind of creating this sense of a bit of an argumentative energy sort of in the in the first part of um the year but I do sense that it's going to start feeling lighter as a result of you being able to put those things down and you're no longer really going to feel the need to defend yourself like you're going to have um, you know a sense of peace about you um, as you move into April there is going to be um, a, a an option like there's going to be some sort of an offer someone's going to come in uh, and it could be related to I, I'm sensing some sort about children it could be um, it could be related to your child. It could be related to something to do with your own childhood, your own inner child. Um, but what I'm sensing here is that something is going to come in that's going to excite you uh, quite a bit. And it's going to give you, um, you know, um, a sense of, you know, happiness and like give you uh, the ability to think that things are going to start really moving forward for you. And, you know, things are going to start coming up roses is, is what I'm he hearing and seeing here. So in April, uh, uh, Gemini, it looks like that things are, you know, going to start feeling a lot lighter. Uh, for you and again um, here comes another um, you know truth another choice in you know, the two card here you know kind of basically talks about walking through a portal so it could be and, and this is also your you know air energy Gemini energy so like this could be just your you know even your energy here like with the choice you know like you know one side of the other you know how um, it, it's difficult like with twins um, uh, as a Gemini um, but I sense that this choice has to do with you having chosen um, to um, be a part of whatever financial thing that's making you feel excited, whatever's making you feel like there's a hope and the ability to really um, uh, uh, generate more wealth for yourself, you know, create create um uh, you know some sort of investment that continues to grow is what i'm sensing here um and uh the thinking woman here uh, coming up in you know the um june time frame you know this is really your energy so it's probably you know kind of like it's around uh birthday time so it could be end of may first of june uh time frame where uh you as a gemini are you know really in your own energy and filling yourself basically is what i'm hearing again you're you're transforming but i see that it's as a result of like a lot of um, knowledge and experience that you've gained over you know the you know first part of 2023 as well as you know your life up to this point obviously um, but there's a lot of things that you have uh, studied and have you know um, uh, 
focus energy on that's allowed you to really um, transform you know yourself in a way um, that is you know financially going to benefit you because I see um, as you move into July, the eight of uh, hedgehogs comes out here, and this is really like the eight of coins. And this says this says that you know you've been working hard to generate you know this financial uh, wealth, and um, you know you are you know definitely going to be um, you know uh, seeing you know results as a re you know as a result of the um, work you put in. And the um, uh, four of swords says though that you know you got to be really careful about how much work that you're putting in because. Because in August it says that you're probably going to need some sort of a rest. You're going to need to, um, you know, take some time out for yourself. Maybe this would be a good time within August to take a to take a vacation and really, it really takes some time to go inward and see, you know, just how far you've come. Because what I sense is is that you know you have overcome a lot of you know difficult challenges. You've you know made a lot of choices. Some that you didn't like your the choice that you made, and you wish you would have made a different choice. But ultimately, you grew from whatever those blessings or lessons were you know in in that particular phase you know or situation in your life and so just know now that you know um as you come into august that it is you know okay for you to just slow down a bit and take some time for yourself because um in um the uh, september time frame what i'm sensing is is that you know the way that you overcome this um you know need to rest is by um, you know, overcoming that uh, indecision. You know, like sometimes we're afraid to make a choice because we're afraid, oh, what if we make the wrong choice? But what I'm hearing is, is that, you know, you can make a choice and make it right. So whatever, find, I feel like that there's going to be some like, um, you know, options available to you in September that are related to your financial situation. It could be more jobs. It could be more projects it could be side hustles it could be you know just um selling services something and what i'm sensing is is that because you're not deciding to do anything gemini that you know you're just kind of like a, a standstill and so none of those things are making any progress forward so what spirit is saying is that you sort of need to make a decision and focus on you know the one see this is almost like this leaves look like a star focus on the one that you think is going to um, take you, you know, in the best direction because in the month of October, you know, um, things are really going to change for you. The tower card talks about, you know, things, you know, really being upheaval. But what I see here is that, um, you know, you know, instead of this, you know, it's being necessarily like the towers falling down and people, you know, things are falling out of it. It's just like this, this, um, uh, little princess, if that's what this is here, is super tired. And so, um, it, what I'm sensing is if you don't make a decision and focus on one thing and you keep trying to, you know, overdo it, that you might find yourself just really, um, out of steam in October, um, as a result of that. Now, the, the flip side of that is, is that this change could be exactly what gets you away from feeling, you know, over, overburdened and over, you know, overactive is what I'm hearing here because this this calm water back here tells me you know that there is this potential for you know you really finding your place of peace is what I'm hearing and in the um, month of November this queen of coins tells me that you know you can rest and settle in because you know you are well on your way to you know um, generating the kind of financial wealth that you're looking for you know you're at the queen of coins here um, you have um, you know uh, like all these resources around you that I'm seeing uh, and they're and some of these are just now starting to bud so they're going to continue to grow um, but um, as we end out the year uh, in 2023 Gemini we get the patience card and this tells me that you know all of these things that you've been working on and this wealth that you're building up you know of course we always want things to work faster and spirits just saying hang on because you know by the end of this year you know you may have been super patient and um, things are just going to explode um, after you know all of the effort that you've put in in this year you know it things won't be the same so I hope um, that this was useful for you Gemini if it was don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel um, I wish you nothing but the best on your journey of love and light I wish you financial blessings always um, peace and blessings